Hello and welcome back to Cobble Gautam. This is part 3 of the How to Make a Minecraft Plugin series. And in this video, we're going to be learning about events. Events are basically um, things that the server sends whenever a player does something. For example, there's like a player join event, a player leave event, and a lot of stuff like that. And what we're going to be doing in, in this video is that I'm going to be learning how you can listen to those events and do something when a player like emits one of those events. For example, you can like send a welcome message when a player joins. So basically, we listen to the player join event and we send a welcome message when the event is called. And that's what we're going to be doing in this video. And we're also going to be um, learning how you can change item drops. So, for example, you make a piece of dirt. And instead of giving you the plugin will give you, say, for example, diamonds. And it can be any block you want. So yeah, we can do all of those things with events. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So, uh, if you haven't watched the part 2 or part 1 yet, make sure to watch those. The link will be in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. So what we're going to be doing is that uh, we're going to be making a welcome message. So whenever the player joins the server, they'll see a message that like says like welcome to the server or something like that. And to do that, we're going to be using the player join event. And that event will be fired every time a player joins the server. So we can use a listener to listen to that event. And whenever it gets fired, we can use it to send a message to the player. So, to do that, first of all, let's create a listener's package. So, click on new, package, and then let's call it listeners. And inside this package, let's create a new class called welcome event. I mean, welcome listener. And this is going to be the listener that, like, listens to the player join event. So, how do you make it a listener? Well, to do that, you do implement listener. And make sure you select org.bucket.event.listener, or else um, it won't work for you. And then inside here, do at event handler. And this is what tells the server that the next method will be uh, like an event. So, to listen to an event, you do public static. I mean, public void, and then you can call it basically anything. We're just going to do on player join. And here is where you type in the name of the event you want to listen to. So, if you actually go into this web, this like page, you see um, the list of events. So, I'm going to be checking in org.bucket.event.player, and this will be events relating to players. So, that's what we want. So, if you click on that, you'll see all of the events that are available. So, in our case, we, oh god, um, we want the player join event, and you can see that it's called when a player joins the server. So, to listen to that event, you can go back, and then here, type in player join event, and you'll see this. And then, Play the join event, then E. And E is what we'll be using to um, get data about the event that's called. So in our case, we can use it to get the player. So let's make a variable called the player. And then it's going to be E.getPlayer. And this is the player that joined the server. And we can get the instance of that player. And we can use this instance to send a message to that player. Player.send message. Then let's make it colorful, maybe like green. So track little that green plus welcome to the server. And then the name of the player. And what this will do is that whenever the player joins the server, it will send them a message saying welcome to the server and then their name and it will be in the color green. So one more thing, we have to register the event. 
books and to do that you can actually go into the main class and language telling is basically like telling the command I mean telling the telling the server that to like um make sure that the event gets called so to do that just do bucket so it's not exactly the same way we do it with commands it's a bit different so but bucket dot get plugin manager and then you can actually register the events here and um so how it works is that we first put the listener and then we put the plugin so the first of all we need to put the listener which is in so welcome listener we have to make a new object of it so put new welcome listener and then we do this because this is actually a plugin instance so that will um register the event so now let's test this out and see if it works so let's build it and once I get my server up, I will show you the results. So the server is finally done loading. And so let's test. It's logging in. And sorry if it's lagging. So there we are. And as you can see here, we get the green message that says, Welcome to the server called the PvP. And that means that, um, our code actually works, and the event like fires when it's supposed to, and we get the message. So next, we're going to be looking at how you can modify item blocks. So, for example, you break the sand block. Instead of getting sand, you'll get like a glass block or a diamond and some, something like that. So, uh, to do that, what we have to do is listen to the block break event and what that does is that it like fires whenever the block is broken so essentially we're going to be listening to when a sand block is broken and when it's broken instead of we instead of dropping the natural like sand instead we're going to be dropping um diamonds so to do that let's make a new listener so i click on the package we have a class. Let's call this block break listener. And here I'm just gonna copy in my uh, other listener, so I don't have to type that again. Then change this to block break listener, and then change the method name to on block break, and then here. So now, we'll have this method we call whenever a block is broken. So, first of all, let's store this block inside a variable. So, block equals e dot get block. This will return the block, and I have to input this, so put class, and yeah. So now, we can check if the block is a sand block, and if you want to do it with a different block, you can do a different block too. So, to check the, if it's a sand block, you do if block dot get type is equal to material dot, and then here is where you'll have like every single block, and um. In our case, we want sand, but you can also do it with a different block. So, if it is a sand block, this um, thing will be called. If the block that we break is a sand block, then we want to cancel the natural dropping of sand. Instead, we have to replace it with the diamond block. And to do that, first we have to cancel the natural dropping of sand. To do that, we can do e dot set drop items to false. But we want it to drop diamonds, a diamond block. So to do that, we can first get the world of the block. Block dot get world. And in that world, we want to place an item and we can use the drop item naturally for that. And we need a location and an item stack. 
The location is easy because we can just do block dot get location. And what this will do is that it will place any item at the location of the block. And we need an item stack. The item stack you can think of is, is a stack of items. For example, when you have some items in your inventory, and the items in each slot is an item stack. And what we can do is that we can create an item stack of just a diamond block. So, new item stack, material, not diamond block. And what this will do is that it will create an item stack of diamond blocks and it will drop this item stack at the block's location. So, we'll be learning more about item stacks later and that will be in an upcoming video. Anyways, now we can register this plugin. To do that, go into the plugin main class and then add this, just copy this um, old register thing and then replace the class with block break listener. And uh, one more thing I forgot to add is that in the block break listener, um, you want to um, set the canceled to false. So, um, this is to make sure that um, whenever the block is broken, you don't want to cancel the event. So you set e dot set canceled to false like this. So yeah, now um, we can like go ahead and test out this code and see if actually it drops um, diamond blocks. So my server is ready, and I'm going to join it. And I am in my server. And when I break a diamond block, I mean, when I break a sand block, I get diamond blocks. And if I break, like, a random block, I don't get diamonds, and I only get the... So yeah, that concludes today's episode of the Minecraft plugin series. If you guys liked it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And also, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.